Hey, you guys, how are you guys doing? Um, this is going to be a different type of chit chat video. I am going to be just basically doing a year in review. Y'all see my Christmas nighty? Y'all got this from Walmart. Y'all already know. I know some of y'all have it too. Uh, we're going to be doing this while kind of sort of flat ironing my hair. It's already straight, but I'm going to do a little bit more straightening into it. But we're going to kind of do this like a chit chat, but like I said, it's going to be more of a year in review, more so of my personal life um things to expect for new for next year the new year on my channel and i'm going to open up the floor from suggestions for you guys to keep in mind i know i say this a lot but unless you in case you are new to my channel i no longer do product reviews for lines that are relatively new and believe you me girl there are several lines that i am interested in but if it is a line that i'm familiar with which is a lot i have reviewed a lot of products so everything from small businesses to the bigger um brands that all right you guys um i'm gonna take all my hair down to show you what it looks like then i'm gonna pin it back up i know let me give me a drink of wine girl merry christmas to those of you who celebrate christmas um Shalom, Happy Hanukkah, um, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Yom Kippur. I think that's still Jewish, girl. <laughs> I'm going to take all this hair down, you guys. I'm going to put it back up. My hair has been straightened now for a hot minute, but not no longer than a week. Look at that. Real pretty. It's real soft. Um, and so I to avoid any type of buildup or anything like that. I don't use a lot on my hair. I use the Garnier Fructis. It's like this anti-frizz serum, just a little bit. And then I use the Chi Silk Infusion, just a little bit. So we're gonna run a comb through her. Very, very healthy. I have some gray, as you can see. Um, there is some gray coming through there. So yeah, this is my hair. This is what the back looks like. Okay. Um, I kind of did some search and destroy, but I need a trim. I would hope I was hoping that my aunt would trim my hair, but she's afraid of all my hair. <laughs> she's afraid of all my, my all of my hair. My aunt Gladys, so she won't do it. I'm like, okay, Aunt Gladys. Let's put this all back up, girl. All right, y'all. And then once I'm done, kind of straightening up my hair, I'm going to put on a cute little dress um, and then go in the living room and sit down. <laughs> we ain't going nowhere, girl. Look, the way that this new um, COVID is going around, but besides that, the flu this year is no freaking joke. I mean, my mama is actually getting over COVID right now. Bless her heart. Um, my daddy texted me a couple of days ago to say that they had went to the ER because she had a hard time breathing. Um, she's doing a lot better. With that being said, even my mama said that the nurse was like, you better be glad you don't have the flu because the flu this season is no joke at all, y'all. No joke. So, all right, I'm just combing it through a little bit more. I, yeah, I need to get those ends together. Look at that. All body, all body. All right. Ooh. All right, y'all. So let's just go ahead and get into this personal life. We are in the middle of Winter Wonderland. It is cold as hell. It is our first, um, our first winter here in Texas, and I'm loving it. Um, I, I was raised here. I was born actually in Ohio, just born there. I immediately came here like two years later. But I was raised here in Texas, so I am familiar with the weather. By the way, I'm doing one pass. This is already um, straightened. I'm not chasing it because I'm not trying to get it bone straight. You understand what I'm saying? Anyway, so girl, a couple of days ago, it was freezing temperatures, like 14, 16 degrees. And we decided to spend... A couple of days in Dallas at the Anatole and we had to leave our faucets dripping and we take took all the precautions necessary to make sure that those pipes don't burst right girl what's going on okay right here 
Um, so I know those of you who are on the East Coast and up north some, I'm pretty sure you had some crazy weather. Y'all, this light is kind of flickering. Do you see that? Yeah, you can probably see that. Hold on, y'all. Just making sure that we have everything that we need um, so that we don't be cold. Um, I'm one of those type of moms that I shop in the off seasons. So I made sure that JB had all of his little jackets and coats and uniforms and stuff for school. I did all of it in the summertime. Okay. And so, yeah, so we were prepared. So anyway, you guys, um, just real quick, a year in a review, you know, this year has been such a whirlwind. Um, a lot of highs and lows, a lot of surprises. Um, of course, the biggest thing is finally moving to Texas. So I have been bothering my husband every now and then while we were in Phoenix about moving back to Texas. Um, I never liked living in Phoenix. I found that Phoenix is great if you are... Phoenix is great if you have family there, if you have friends there, um, if you're relatively young in your career and you're just looking for a change. But I would not make that my permanent home, again, unless all my family is there. Um, I also found it very trying raising a black child in Phoenix due to the demographics. It is par primarily um, Hispanic and white. Uh, uh, there are several times where, and let me, let me just say this, I'm used to being the only one in the room sometimes just due to the type of work I'm doing. But for my child to be in that was very, very eye-opening. And I'm not just saying the only one in the classroom. I'm seeing the only one in the entire grade that was half, everyone there was mixed with black. Um, JV was the only one there that was like, you know. Um, and so, and he experienced, unfortunately, his first bout of racism in a school. Um, there was a child that basically said, Again, this is first grade. Black kids aren't allowed on the playground. Besides that, um, we did have a, have a great time, you know, um, with my career and being able to travel, being so close to California, being close to Vegas, being close to Sedona. We really did enjoy that. He always told me that, no, he's not, he doesn't want to move back. And so the whole thing was, you know, let's let's think about the area. And so we both decided on Forney at the end of the day. And we worked fairly fast to get everything together, to get all our ducks in a row. And actually, one of you called it. I went back and looked at, meaning called me us moving back. I went back and was looking at a couple of videos. And one of you was basically like, uh, I don't know who you were. I do apologize. But basically, sis, you were like, are you sure your husband isn't getting the house ready to be sold? He was. But his ass didn't tell me because he knew I would drive him crazy. But he was. But, you know, so funny. We did a lot to the house, you guys. A lot to that house. Um, everything from having it painted inside, outside. Excuse me. Inside, outside. We had uh, new carpet, new floors new uh the the bathrooms both of the bathrooms are remodeled and y'all know the fiasco we had with that we had marble put down in the front with that being said and and solar panels which was a big mistake with that being said the number one thing that really would have helped and it was something that i had talked to my husband about was having the kitchen redone yeah the kitchen was a big one or even having the outside redone. Another big surprise is I'm not really surprised, but with it being thorny, I thought it would be better. I knew that Dallas had a problem. D-I-S-D -I -I has a problem only because I know so many people that live here. And actually, I know quite a few people that um, homeschool here 
in Texas or in Dallas. But anyway, this child is interrupting me. Um, we thought that forming may be a little bit better, not taking into consideration that a lot of people moved here from Frank and Dallas. <laughs> a lot of people moved here from like Mesquite. Is that Dandra? What the hell is, do y'all see that? Something's flaking up, y'all. A lot of people moved here from California. And so when I tell you this little uh, public school right next to us was so full of it, I didn't tell y'all this. Another teacher, no, another parent said that in her kid's class, there was a child in there. How should I say it? Making sexual noises. And thought it was funny. And the other kids were laughing. They were using the N-word back and forth. And we don't talk like that in our household, you guys. We just don't. We ended up finding a great private school for JB. He absolutely loved it. He's going to be there for the next year and a half until fourth grade. And then he's going to be moving to a charter school in, um, in Fate, which is right next to Heath. Not bad at all. Besides that, I ended up finally getting a promotion you guys when i tell you this promotion had been long time coming and i was waiting 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 for it to happen and it finally happened i have no idea what the monetary value or what the increase in salary is going to be because they haven't told me isn't that something look at that i need to, I need to trim my ends you see that <clears throat> right there it needs to go where's my scissors like seriously i would do this if my scissors were around but oh well um so yeah, I got a promotion, gained a new skill set. Um, so yeah, that's personal life year in review as far as my channel. Now, it's very, very clear to me, and I know I'm not the only one. My views are so ridiculously low. Like, this is the lowest they have been the entire time I've been a YouTuber. Um, my view counts are down by 20,000. 20,000. Over 20,000. Like almost 25,000. Um, and I know most people come to my channel for hair related videos. I get that. I understand. I really do. Um, my camera has decided not to work. It stopped working. Um, when was it like, gosh, off and on, it actually has stopped working last year off and on. Um, but basically long story, it doesn't read memory cards now for some reason. It just stopped reading memory cards. So I've been recording on my phone. The thing is also sometimes I forget, especially with my, um, when I'm vlogging, I forget to take my phone or just not necessarily take it, but to pull up my phone and vlog i'm just been forgetting which is you know all on me so i'm just gonna have to suck it up and buy another camera you guys it is what it is um not to say that i think that's going to increase my views but i think that that will help my channel to stay stated to keep steady you know what i mean so i'll get another camera like at the beginning of the year or so oh like as far as hair related videos there are some video reviews that i still have left to do for the rest of the, for the i'm not gonna be able to get it to this year but i still have left to do i have that cream of nature marshmallow root i need to do and I think one of the reasons why my views are low is that I've been telling you guys the reviews are coming and I haven't been doing them. I know you guys. I've just, the only thing I can say is I've just been really busy. I've been really busy with personal life. I really have. Um, so, but they are coming. Another idea I have as far as hair related videos, and this is something that I had put out in the atmosphere um, a couple of years ago, I want to recreate some African hairstyles, but I want to do it in a tasteful way. Like there are a couple of hairstyles. There's one from um, the Fulani women. Um, there's one from, I believe they are in Madagascar. Um, and, and I think that Rihanna actually redid one of those hairstyles from Madagascar. It looks a little difficult to do, but I think I can pull it off. 
those are at least three or four African inspired hairstyles that I want to do. I want to recreate, I should say. Um, that and also I want to start doing more wash day videos, but I want to focus on entire collections. You know what I mean? So like as I am a wash day. All right, yeah, let me take this hair down and let me run some cheat through it. So see, it just gave me a little, that's it, girl. Okay, come on, girl. All right, that's actually a little bit too much. Okay, that's a little bit too much. So let's bring it down. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I know you're going to be like, what? Because I got to finish talking to y'all and I'm going to do a lip. Okay. So, yeah, but let me know what y'all thinking. But like I said, um, African inspired hair related videos and more wash day videos. Look at that health and sheen. That's really what I want to do. But, you know, I know I'm not the only one whose views are, are low. Um, true crime looking at that um the socialite tv that's who i was going to talk about before whose views are when her kids i came across actually one of her videos came up as a suggestion and i used to watch the videos when um i used to watch their channel primarily i'm gonna do my lip when her kids the babies which are not babies anymore they're like six years old five or six years old um that's really rad they are so adorable still. Um, but with that being said, her views are ridiculously low. When those kids were baby babies, um, she was getting over 10,000 10, views. Now she's getting 1,000, 2,000 here. Now I'm going to deepen that. And the way to deepen, I'm one that always mixes lipsticks. And to a way to deepen that is I'm going to add a burgundy or a purple on top to deepen the red. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, watch a little bit of Socialite Sandy. Um, girl, there are a couple of free movies on, um, YouTube also. And there are certain movies that I don't care to watch a second time. Hotel Rwanda is one of them. Just because, um, The Boy in the Striped Pajama is another one. Heredity. I watched Heredity. It was because it's free on YouTube right now. I watched it. And this is another thing. When I watched it, it is a totally different version of the one that I originally saw. That's a little too dark. I didn't mean for it to be that dark. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wipe that off. And then I'm going to go in with, um, I guess I'll use this. So, um, guess that's okay. Mm. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. That's the lip. Yeah, that's cute. So, um, what, am I, what was I talking about? Okay, heredity. Yeah, that's one of them that this is only the second time I've seen it. No, no, no. I've seen clips, but this is the second time I've seen the entire movie. And it is different. Like, the one shocking scene, they didn't show everything. And the one that's on YouTube. Also, the ending of this one is different than of the one on YouTube. Sorry, y'all. This right here just went out. Ciao. Uh, there's a couple of free movies on... <laughs> there's a couple of free movies on YouTube. There's another one I want to watch called The Host. Um, besides that, I went ahead and purchased All Black. And All Black is exactly what it says. Although, you know what's on All Black? That show with, um, uh, what is her name? She was the, God, what is her name? The baby's name. They're in the South. Um, Honey Muffin. What is that? Sugar Muffin. Honey Bear. Honey Boo Boo. Honey Boo Boo. That show, and June is her mother, and June has lost a lot of weight. She had surgery. She had lost a lot of weight. Their show is on All Black, which I think is, is interesting. But there is another uh, series that I'm starting to watch on YouTube. 
through all black called Terra Lake Drive. Terra, Terra, I can't talk, Lake Drive. Let me check it out. It looks good. All right, what I'm watching on Hulu TV, Netflix. Okay. I know, girl, one of you guys had recommended Kindred. Let me tell you something. Um, I'm one that really can't get into the trauma. Well, I guess you could call it like almost like trauma porn. I can't do the slave movies too much, you guys. Like, I've seen Django Unchained. That's another one. I've seen it once. Now, my husband will watch it multiple times in here, getting on my nerves. I can't watch slave type of, and I understand that, that it's based on a book, excuse me, it's based on a book, and it's a really good book. Um, I can't do it. Like, I, I've only watched Beloved once, because I can't, I can't do it. I can't do the slave type of movies, and I thought there was some of that in it, it correcting me if I'm wrong. Um, so I, yeah, thank you for recommending it, but I just can't do it. I did watch this Christmas, which I've seen over and over. I just, I thought I would be more so into Christmas movies now that it's Christmas. Ain't we, ain't we crazy? Now watch my ass be into Christmas movies come August. I'm going to try to search from some, but anyway, um, I watched this Christmas, but I didn't watch any more else. Um, any more else. I didn't watch any other Christmas movie. I watched a movie with Richard Greer. Gear. The Thomas Crown, not Richard Gere, no, no, it's Pierce Bronson. But anyway, I watched the Thomas Crown Affair. I love Pierce Bronson. He is such, he has so much sex appeal. I actually follow him on Instagram and he still has it, you guys. And I love that he is so smitten with his wife. Um, but I really do like the Thomas Crown Affair. He was 46 in that movie. Yes, child. But speaking of Richard Greer, um, somebody has said something about him being nude and gigolo. I haven't seen gigolo. I think that was a little past my time. So I looked up the nude scene because I'm grown and I can do that. And I was like, he was like, it's rare that a man is frontal nude in a movie. Oh, Richard Gere was frontal nude. Anyway, girl, what are we talking about Richard Gere and his package? I'm sorry, y'all. Anyway, um, Netflix, I rewatched, I think this was on re, um, Netflix. I rewatched the remake of Rebecca. I love Rebecca. We read it in school. It's one of the classics. I saw the original and... Um, black and white girl. Was it even in color? I don't even remember. Um, so I watched the remake. It was good, but it does not hold a candle to the original Rebecca. I'm sorry it doesn't. Um, watching this series, I Am a Killer. You know, it's very interesting to look at the point of view of the actual killer and then in the series, I Am a Killer, they oftentimes, they focus on the person that's did, you know, the heinous murder because that's why it's called I Am a Killer. But they also interview um, detectives and um, if they can, the person's family. So it's really interesting. I like to watch I Am a Killer. Child, that was one. The last one, I couldn't even finish it. He was like, he basically was like, I have no regrets on what I did. They need to let my ass out, but I have no regrets. He literally said that. Like, I'm 83. I ain't got shit else to do. I'm not a threat. But uh, in, in, in the same time, I have no regrets. I'm like, oh, you and your ass ain't getting out. You're going to sit there for a long time, sir. You are not getting out. Sorry. Um, I've started to watch The Watcher. Looks very interesting. And The Watcher is based on a true thing. Although, I honestly think The Watcher... I think it's an inside job. Like, almost, I think that the family is in on it. We'll see. But I'm watching the series. I started to watch Uma with Sandra O oh and Sandra O oh Uma, which is, means mama in Korean. Um, there's another series that's on Netflix called Glass Onion. And it has, what is his name? Edward Norton. And the, the latest 007 it has the singer Janelle Monae. Is that her name? It has her. It's just like an all out cast. And Glass Onion is a murder mystery, which I'm digging. I like that type of stuff. So I'm, I, I like this. So y'all, let me finish with my hair while y'all on the line. 
I'm going to do a vintage updo. If you don't know by now, my style is, because this is just who I am. Excuse me, my style, I didn't even wear like pants. I wore skirts, dresses. I, I dressed in a very vintage 19, I would say late 1950s to early 60s. That's how I dressed. Um, I remember even when I was in school, oh God, now it's weird when you're a child because you're thinking, okay, what's wrong with this child? It, it's only, it's cute to adults, but to other kids, they're like, what the hell is she doing? But I've always been this way. So, hold on. When I was in, I don't know what grade I was in, but I had this dress. No, it was a skirt that was layered. And it seriously had layers and it had a petticoat. And I would wear it to school. <laughs> and I would, I had these lace gloves that I would wear with it. And I would walk around and my mama would let me wear it. Cause she's like, do you baby. Isn't that beautiful? The teachers ate it up. Anyway, what am I trying to say? So my, my style has always been this retro look. So for a while there, even in high school, I wore only dresses. I remember one time this guy asked me, he's like, are you very religious? I said, no, why? He's like, because you always wear dresses. I'm like, no. So this is my hairstyle, very retro. All right, cute. Let me put my dress on you guys, okay? All right, you guys, I'm not trying to flash you or anything. Let me show you that you guys have seen this dress before. I did a spring haul um, of dresses I got online. And so this is the dress. It's a little design that goes all the way. And so, um, yeah. It has these, I guess you call these bell sleeves. That is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you as always to all of my subscribers. Take care. Bye.